Hi everyone, my name is Virginia Duan, also known as Mandarin Mama. I host a podcast called the Muna Army Podcast, where I discuss the particular challenges and aspects of being a middle-aged BTS fan. I'm also the founder of Brazen Asian, the only retreat for Asian Pacific Islander, Pacific Islander Desi American uh, creatives and influencers. So that will be held in the Bay Area for September 25th through the 27th, and uh, you can find out more information in the description. Uh, today, I'm going to be reacting to Lau's song, Who, featuring uh, BTS. I think it's just JK and Jimin. I bought the song the day it came out. Uh, I think I heard it in the car when I was driving back from Palm Springs, uh, but I actually don't remember it. I just remember liking it. Uh, so I don't remember what it sounds like. Uh, just remember there were parts where it was really sad, and then I really, I really dug it. And so I haven't listened to it again, even though I really wanted to. Um, but I wanted to react to the video. Here we go. Are these CCs? Oh, it's auto generated. Never mind. Reminds me of my favorite things at the beginning. Uh, not the Ariana version, the uh, Sound of Music version, which is the Ariana version. I need a walk, I need a walk, I need to get out of here. Really nice arms, by the way, and shoulders. Oh, JK. Wait, what did he say? I need to hear that chorus one more time. No, 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 no. No, no. I'm gonna watch it again. It's a good song. This is too short. Oh, 
Also, before you like say that I know the words and I must have heard this a million times, um, I've only heard it once and also the mark of a good song sometimes is how easy it is to catch on to the hook and that is a really easy hook to catch on to. <laughs> So the pathos, the pathos. Ah. I love hearing Jimin's lower register. It's oh. his voice always has like an edge, and JK's lower register is. It's too short, too short. I feel like JK should have had a whole verse. Jimin should have had a whole verse. I know they're the features. I understand. I understand how features work. Uh, or even Love should have had another verse. And we just, I just needed to hear that chorus one more time. It's just... It's just so good. Oh, I am so glad. So glad. I'm just this boring married person. I've been with the same person for 18 and a half years. Um, married for 13. I'm just so glad that I don't have to deal with this. Maybe not. I mean, one could never say forever, but for a, a long time, hopefully. <laughs> but I do remember that feeling. Oh. So I... I was the girl who changed. <laughs> I was the girl who, you know, changed. I was the person who I was with, um, my ex, you know, I, I did him really dirty. Um, I should have just broken up with him and, and made a clean break, but I, I didn't want to lose something that I thought was kind of guaranteed. Um, because, you know, when you grow up Christian and, like, you grow up, I, I think I felt like I always wanted to be in a relationship. I always wanted to, you know, the end goal was to get married. Uh, and so I had that with someone, but I just was so unhappy. I was not happy with him. And um, I was angry about a lot of things and just never dealt with those. And, um, and instead of just breaking it off, saying, hey, let's just call it quits, um, instead I, you know, started seeing someone else. We didn't do anything, but like, you know, just, you just, it wasn't fair to either of those people. And so, yeah, but it, yeah, having been the girl who changed, and I, I know, I know I caused him a lot of pain. I was in a lot of pain, um, but I had the benefit of moving on to somebody else, right? So <laughs> that was my husband. <sighs> so yeah, like that's a, ah, uh, what a great song. I love sad songs. <laughs> And you know, there's, it's just, I just loved hearing JK and Jimin in their lower registers and we, and just hearing them so sad I, about like love songs. I really enjoy their American songs that are all about love. I mean, I, I appreciate their, um, you know, their K-pop stuff too, obviously, since I have a whole podcast about them, but there's just something a little bit different when they just... 
when they're singing all in English. And not because, and don't at me in the comments, it's not that I think that they should sing in English, it's just because I understand English. I don't understand Korean, so it's easier for me to immediately identify um, and feel the emotions of that song, right? Because I can both understand the lyrics and then also feel the emotion of the song. If it was in Korean, I probably would have still hit, been hit the same way, right? Uh, but I would lack that deeper comprehension of it, right? As clearly as you can see from my reaction to the album, I loved it even before I understood what they were saying. Uh, so, but, you know, communication, understanding things is also important to me, especially for lyrics. And I love this song. And I, my only complaint is that it's too short. And I actually enjoy a lot of Lao songs, so I'm glad this song was a good, good feature. All right, uh, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll talk to you later.